to me about uh, what we're going to be talking about today, All online right. impersonation. All right. So good morning to our viewers. You're talking about online impersonation where people try to pretend to be others that they are not. So there's still identity. What do you mean by still identity? Someone using your picture, your name on social platform or any other network to pretend to be you, extorting money from others or doing things that you would have done. Right, so they are pretending to be you on the space. So that's what we're going to look at. Mm -hmm. Not only people, but also company. Mm -hmm. Right, we have other companies that we have people who create to mimic or copy other companies. So mm -hmm. we say we clone their website mm -hmm. or they impersonate them. So it's not only uh, accounts or individuals, but also sometimes companies to suffer from the same uh, impersonation. Okay, how common is this? Very common. Uh, today, if you go on all the social platforms and you want to find out this, you can just type or search for your username, right? So if, let's say I'm on Instagram, mm -hmm. right here. So, and I just did a search mm -hmm. of GTV, mm -hmm. right? So I know there are so many GTV, mm -hmm. but look at, we have GTV Sports. I know that one is mm -hmm. ours. Mm -hmm. We have the GTV Ghana. Mm -hmm. And so you could go through to see any other GTV created. Yes. Right. So we have GTV dot television. It's not for us. It's not for us <laughs> because the logo. Look at the logo. Mm. But any company that creates another GTV mm. with the logo of GTV, mm -hmm. then try to impersonate us. Mm -hmm. Right. So that is what we are looking at. So you can just go on social platform mm -hmm. and you try. So in case is this one. Let's say you go to GTV Sports, Sports Plus. Okay. Right. And in case this one was an impersonated account. How would we see? Now, the first thing is their logo, mm -hmm. right? Now, they are using GTV logo. Let's look at it. We look at their followers. We look at how long the account has been created. Then if you find out that the account, you know, is being impersonated or they are using it to scam people, you find a way to report them, mm -hmm. right? So that one, the process is quite simple. You go to the reporting here. Then the next one you go is, you see here, report an account. We have report a post. Right, so you don't go there, you go to report account. So let's go back again. We go to report here. Then we go to report account. Now report account, we say that it's pretending to be someone else. Right, so we are talking about impersonation. impersonation. So we go to pretending to be someone else here. Then we go, is it me, someone I know, or celebrity or public figure or a business organization? Okay. So, it's not, so if it's me, you just click on me, mm -hmm. then you submit the form. Then they'll, they'll take it over? they will take it over okay good. so uh normally things like this you need to kind of do it uh not only on one just one but you can try to do it two three or as many as you can mm. because you want an urgent response you can also share with your contact to also go through the same process to report that page so that the platform uh, they will flag that as well a scam page okay. then they would uh find a way to take it off so this is a, a, an instance where concern is good yes yes you can report people who yeah, yeah, work yeah, yeah, yeah. so you saw it that not only uh, I, I know calf and i have seen that oh i just went online to search for let's say calf mm -hmm. let's say let me look at calf right so we have, I know this is official yep, one. Yep, yep, We have another underscore cafe. I know mm -hmm. that is not you. Mm -hmm. So we see. D-E-Y. D-E-Y, mm -hmm. rather. E-Y. Y. Okay. Okay. So here ah, we there's are. another one there. Yes. There are other cafe days. There's other yes. cafe days, yeah. right. So what we are looking here is that impersonation. So we are looking at the main account is this. Mm -hmm. This cafe day. Mm -hmm. And another account has been created using the same profile. Mm -hmm using the same name that means that they are impersonating the original account mm. so that one we can report it mm. but because we have a lot of name we have kafu yeah we have got, i have two so, cousins who are yes, kafu days yes. Yes. so yeah. that one but we are talking about someone who has created it might be your daughter or your son who is trying to do a, a, a platform for you mm. or something mm -hmm. but this one you don't know the person from anywhere the person has created an account on your behalf and trying to deceive people mm -hmm. so that is how you check so their profile and also sometimes you check the engagement and the followers. Okay. If there's a new account being created with the same profile, you see that here, you see uh, the followers. You see here you have a lot of followers. And also you go through the posts, you see, Kafu has been posting since, since, since. So you see that there are a lot of what, engagement there, mm -hmm. right? So you see a lot of posts there. But if you go there and you see only maybe two or three posts, or four posts, then you could know that oh, it's a new account mm -hmm. that is trying to you know impersonate Kafui or okay. trying to deceive people using the image of Kafui. So then I would find uh, I would try to report them, 
right? So that is how we can do that on Instagram, also on Facebook, right? We can also do the same. Let's also check, since on the social platform, mm -hmm. let's also check on TikTok, right? So here, we can also come here. So I just look for, I just, I just search for mine, that's DK Cyber, right? So this is the main account, uh, 170K, and I created a backup. So in case this one is not mine, mm -hmm. right? Or someone is impersonating me, right? What I can do is also same on TikTok, you can also, there will be this one, you see it here, you click on it, then you go to report. Okay. So you can go through the reporting, so that, the same process that we went through. So pretending to be someone, right, you go there, is it me or celebrity? So if it's me, you go to the me, then you submit the form. So that is how we report someone. So these things are things we can even do for people. So if you have your favorite person like halfway there, and you've seen that someone has created an account on his behalf, what you can do is you can just easily do what uh, report that account for Kafui, right? So that they will take that account off. Now, when I'm just curious, so why did you create a backup? Okay, fantastic. Uh, you know, TikTok, because of the kind of content I produce, mm -hmm. I have a lot of warning on mine because sometimes when you expose some of the tools, you show some of the things, TikTok, uh, based on their privacy policy, they try sometimes taking it. Sometimes they hold your account down for some time mm. and you cannot engage. And also, it's advisable for us to have a backup account. Anything could happen. We are dealing with technological gadgets, right? So in case something should urgently happen to this account, I have a place to uh, send information across that something has happened here. Oh. So backup account is something good that we should do. So I, I, are you posting the same comment on the backup, backup oh, account? I, I, not a regular base, but okay. this one, I remember TikTok held on to this account for some time and I just created a backup. So mm -hmm. I just did some few posts there. Mm -hmm. I think the last time I posted is here. Mm -hmm. It's just some few posts there. Okay. Yeah. But it's a backup account. It's a backup account. So that that one, I let people know that it's dot backup. Mm -hmm. That means that I have just created it for myself okay. as a backup to the main page. Okay. Right. So that is it. Have you suffered impersonation before? Oh, well, my, I, myself, no. But I have clients that I'm working for that they are really suffering from that impersonation. And uh, sometimes we try to hunt a lot of them down on social platforms, especially the figures. Or uh, let's say our ministers and MPs, especially on Facebook, it do happen where uh, you see an account being created for someone and they try to pretend to be that MP, that minister, trying to help people. There was recently there was an account about some woman, uh, MP, and they were using it to tell people that oh, even if they see that you post a picture, like you started school like a nurse, and they say, oh, this is your favorite MP or something, I'm helping people, so we can help you, right? So you go to their platform, they have really copied everything that we have on the main account to that one. So if you don't take time to go through their post, if you say it's an MP, MP has been in existence for long, you go through their profile, check the first time they posted, right? Sometimes you go there, you see the first time they posted is almost a month old. That means that it's, a, it's a fake account. It's a fake account, so yeah. that's how we can also check for that. Those things, right? Now, uh, on a more serious note, we can also come here. Now, uh, I want to authenticate, I want to check to see if people are using my name to scam out there. So how do I do that? Now, we have systems, like if right now, if you are, let's say, a, an IT guy or let's say a cybersecurity guy, you might be privileged to know this. Uh, this is a GitHub environment of which we mostly use what we call the Kali Linux, right? Now, so the Kali Linux, uh, we use Kali Linux, we use these two. So a tool like this, uh, we have it there. So arbitrage, put off, right? So you just, this is a process, right? So this one, we cannot, it's an open source. I cannot show you here because you need a standard tool to do this. Now, what this does is it helps you scan through the social platform to bring all the accounts created around your name so that you, you go through to see the one that is really what's impersonating your account then you try to take it down. So if you, are, you know about Kali Linux, you can try to use this one. We have the account here, you can try to use But we that we don't know, that means that we are coming to the open source world, right? So that's where we use things like, we say that OSINT, OSINT framework, right? So on OSINT framework, you just go to Google, you search for OSINT framework. You come to username, what are you looking for? We are looking for username and name. So you go to username, you go to username search engine. Right, and I use the last one that is instant username search. Right, so I go there, this open for me. Right, 
Now I'm going to search about one my favorite person that's Kafui Day here. So mm. let me see Kafui Day. This is an open source. Mm -hmm. We are not expecting to have hundred percent accuracy here. All right. Right. So you should Let's know go. that. So we say Kafui. We look for Kafui. Let's say day. Okay. Okay. Let's keep searching. So they're looking to see where I am, right? Where you are. So Twitter has been taken. Let's check if it's true. Mm -hmm. Let's click on Twitter to see. It takes us to Twitter to see if it's for Kafui or someone else. Mm. So let's check. It's loading. So we are trying to see if that account is for Kafui yes. or someone has created on your behalf. Then uh, we quickly go uh, after the person. Mm. All right. So it's still loading. Loading so for us. Breakfast, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're doing now. So yeah, it'll come, it's coming. Right, so we have it here. So I think to load quickly for us. All right. So what we are doing now is we are just searching using that open. Up here. All right. Okay. There you are. Verified. It's up here. Thank so you. that is mm -hmm. uh, our favorite cafe mm -hmm. here. Right. Yeah. So here, yeah, here. Yeah. So you know mm -hmm. that is you. So the name that is you. Uh, we can also check for Facebook. Okay. It's also taken. Uh, we click on it. So you just click on it. Hey, well, who is Patreon? Yeah, I know, I'm not on Patreon. No. You are not on Patreon. Mm. So we'll check to see who's using that Patreon. <laughs> mm. All right, we have this thing, Blogger too. Blogger, I'm there. I should be there. You, you should be there. Right? I should be there, yes. All right, so yes. let's check. It's an old account. Yes, I'm there. I can re recognize from the IP. Oh, okay. Yes. That's fine. That's so, so yes, yes, you wrote this. I wrote this. I have read this. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My oh, man, <laughs> yeah. I didn't write those things. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so um, and one thing to these things are important okay, is you know, uh, those hackers or these cyber criminals, they do create an anonymous account mm -hmm. on our behalf. Mm -hmm. So platform that you don't find yourself on, they go and create a, an account over there for you. Mm -hmm. So let's say if Kafu, you are not on TikTok, mm -hmm. I'll go and create a TikTok account, copy all Kafu's day video from Instagram. Pretend to be you on TikTok, okay. whilst you are not. Yeah. So it's good that you check this thing. So if you are not on that platform and they are using your profile, mm -hmm. so I assume this, I don't know about yeah, academia.edu. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm not there. And so you will check if they click on it. it okay, so it's taken. Yeah, so All right, so this is, this is instantusername.com. Yes, and if maybe you might forget or you wouldn't recall the, uh, the address, we just went to OSINT Framework, okay. right? We went to username. Right, you can check all these things that's unique or pretty good job. So, they are all uh, links that will take you. So, if you go to name check, you can go there and check. Now, if I find that somebody is somebody is, is impersonating me, uh, then what do I do? Oh, okay, so that's what we, 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 we okay. spoke about right. first. Yes, we yes. report them, okay, good. Not only you reporting mm -hmm. them, you can you can broadcast it for people to help you so that Instagram or Facebook or whatever the platform is, you receive a number of queries from do side and they will quickly work on that all right, right. now if maybe in case uh you are also you've done it and it's not really working out there's a service that we are running that whereby if you sign on that platform what mm -hmm. we do is we have automated systems that will not do this job manually for you we just run as one query it goes through all the social platform brings to us all the uh, people faking your account then we take them down Right, so anyhow, we we'll take them down. We we'll go to the legal way. Any way we take it down, we we'll take it down for you. Right, and we we'll give you weekly report. Mm. Yeah, so that you know that this are the account trying to impersonate you. That's what we are trying to do. So, so that's what we have here. Okay, and we also have this one. Let's see. Um, so Social dash searcher. Yes. So here, if it's a phone number, we can search for phone number. If it's a user, right? So we want to search for username. So here, let's say if it's this John Smith. We can search for John Smith or we can search for, we can change the name too, right? Okay. So it, it redirects us, so it's searching for us. So wherever the name has appeared, right? So this one, we are using open source tools. That's yes, right. right. Yeah. Even here, let's, let's, let's make it a little bit more practical. So let's do Kafui. Okay. Yeah, so that... Today, I'm a, I'm a full-time guinea pig. <laughs> uh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so let's do <laughs> that. Our favorite you uh Kafui D so that we know that our tools work. Yeah. Though they are open source, but they okay. should work. You didn't split it up like how we did the John Smith. Oh yeah, we can. Yeah, it, let's split it, it up. Let's yeah, see. your name is Kafui yeah, and the day yeah, is different, yeah. right? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Good. Like that. Let's right? go. All right. Okay, so, so we search. let me enter that. Enter. Let me enter that. Ah. Okay, so it's searching now. So they are searching on Facebook. Okay. LinkedIn. All right. So I mean in, 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 mm. yes. All right, so these are some is of this the... Is this a LinkedIn? Posts. So that is Facebook too. Instagram? Sorry, Instagram, that. Okay. And I think we should LinkedIn have... LinkedIn again. Them, so. Yeah, Instagram. Okay. 
I think. And I mean, I'm related to a, a whole bunch of Indian people. You know, Day is an Indian name as well. Oh, okay. So you can see some Indian names there. Then there yeah. may be one of these days. Ah, this is, this is, this is uh, a cousin of mine. She's called Dorothy. Okay, yeah. sure. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> she's on Instagram. So, yeah, so what we are doing is we are doing more or less uh, old Saint Tom mm -hmm. Kafu's mm -hmm. name. Right? Yeah, and I used to work with this lady as well. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we used to work in the same company, and one day somebody called, one of my customers called and said, ah, there's a woman who is impersonating you. <laughs> She's going calling herself coffee. I said, that's her name. <laughs> yeah, I was not related to her, but we used to work in the same company. Okay. And that's her. Yeah. That's her, right? Yeah. So you know. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. And so, how extensive? It goes all the way? Okay. Yeah, yeah it goes all, all right. right. So, nice. we can have the opportunity to check this morning. Mm -hmm. Let's go to other things, Cap. So, assuming I have an image here, right, and I want to check some info on an image. Someone is using an image. I want to do a, uh, let's say a bit of forensics on the image. Mm -hmm. What do I do? This is an open tool for us. That's a reverse image search, right? So here we have, we can just go to upload, right? If it's a URL with a link, we can just upload. But let's go and get something. Let me see if I have something on the desktop. Ah, yeah, You're going to put an image inside? Yeah, so that we get something. Okay, this. Gaga? I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let's leave the Gaga there. Yeah. So we search. I just want you to know how... It's done, right? So that you can also try. Okay. So any image you get, you see here, they said search over 57.9 billion image. images in 0.8 seconds for Lady so Gaga. So that means that this person is a celeb. Mm. Right, so. Damn. So we have all those things there. So we have people have written about her. So this is where she appears. Yeah. So in case I come to a platform and they are using this image to be like someone I'm trying to do a business with, mm. and I don't know, maybe I don't know the person. Okay. I just have the image. I can just come and put it here now, read about the person, <laughs> related to whatever they are giving me. Uh -huh. They are saying that, oh, this is an Indian company trying to give me tools. But I search and this <laughs> is Lady Gaga. It's Lady Gaga. <laughs> so, so that's a way to authenticate that they are. This one is great. Yeah. Yes. Moreover, we can also come here. The scammers one... are cursing you by now, my brother. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't curse him, it won't work. <laughs> the man is covered by the blood. Amen, Are you not? Amen, amen. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Curse will come back to you. Don't try and curse my guy. You yeah, so we, we have we have this one too. You know, uh let me put this education across. You know, when you take a picture, maybe from an iPhone like this, mm -hmm. and you airdrop it to me, mm -hmm. it's very dangerous. Yeah, I'm not an iPhone guy. What is airdrop? Okay, what about, even if you take a picture Bluetooth. And, and you Bluetooth to uh -huh, me, that or one you, I know. you share to me okay. across. Mm -hmm. When I come in and I put it here, this tool would bring to me even the phone that took the picture, where they took the picture, the location, and everything. You know, when you send them across on a social platform, some of the platforms like WhatsApp, they said they, they scrabble the exit file. Mm. We have a metadata about every picture. So when you take a picture on your phone, and you, you click on the picture, and you just hover up like that. You see that some details come under it with even the location and all those things. So if you should share an image with someone, even on WhatsApp, as a document, if I should send me a picture, and you send to me from your phone as a document, I would be able to detect the device that took the picture mm. and also the location mm. of the, that device. Except the tool. Yes. Not with any forensics tool, but with an open source. Mm -hmm. There's an open source available to everyone, right? There is not a tool I'm, I'm using on, on my server. Mm. This is just an open source. You can go there, right? So the education here is that be very careful when you are sharing documents that you've taken from your phone. You should know people you are sharing with, right? It's better you send them as a picture. Mm. If you share them as a picture, WhatsApp, uh, uh, scrub this what we call the exit file mm. or the metadata mm. but when you share them as documents it goes so they can for instance you need to get wherever it is right can we put a gaga picture here to see oh why happens? not yeah let's yeah. let's go and choose the gaga yeah let's go and choose yeah. the gaga let's open the gaga let's see upload, upload gaga the file. let's okay. see what we get so here. we're going to have some results uh, yes possibly um, okay maybe it's an online so we have modification time and day. So these are some of the information you're going to get. So if uh, The important of this is one, to see that if that picture has been edited before. Mm. They said it's an MP minister. So we take the picture, the new account created a picture. We put it here. If it has been edited, we see the time, the mm. date. So we say, oh no, these people have worked on it. Permission and all those things. So here we have the image height and a lot. All this information from one picture. One picture. And Crazy. We, we have them a lot. Even this one has been sent across. So I think some of the metadata has been, you know, uh, has been rubbish. But still, we still get some. Okay, so this is tools. Yes, very fantastic. All right, nice. More tools, man. This is great. <laughs> We're catching the people. All right, all right. So, yeah. So in case someone is also disturbing you, um, the fake account has been created. 
But you are that curious guy like DK, you want to find who is that? How mm -hmm. can we track such people, their location? Right? I'm going to show you a platform, then we'll try to use that. Now, it's called, uh, let's come here. Uh, let me just come here. And see. logger. Yeah. So I'll just show you, you try to do it yourself, right? I don't want any trouble. All right, so here we have here, we come here. So how does this two work, All right? Assuming someone is, you are chatting with someone, you want to find the location of the person. The person is claiming that he's in Dubai, he's in the US, <laughs> and you want to find out, All right? <laughs> now I'll talk about the limitations, but let me talk about it. That's a pretty good thing here. So here I can come here and just copy a website. See, so then I try to deal with the person. Oh, it's a business we are going, oh, Please, uh, can I have your profile? This is my profile. You can read about me. Or please, can you fill this form for me? I can go to Google Form, create something, a form. Of course. And take the link, right? So when I create the link, assuming here, this was Google Forms, I just come here and copy the link here. Copy the link and come back to the IP logger here and put it here and say create a, a short, short link. link, right? Now, when the short link is created, you send to the person. They give you a back end then you get to record. If the person click on the link, it triggers. Then it gets to know the location of the person or the IP address even of the person. The only limitation here is that we have something called VPN, virtual private network. Those ones, when the person is using them, it changes their location. It changes their location. So that is the limi uh, limitation, limitation here. here. Mm. But aside that, if the person is not using those things, you're able to get their location. But even that, that's a problem to you, but not to others. You should always know that we have advanced tools around that. You to press we, can, we can try. Well, let's go this here. One? Yeah. So that also works same like what where we so you can use this one to grab the file. Right? Check where people are. So if they are telling you I'm I'm I'm, yeah, I'm sending you something from or, yeah. uh, New Zealand and yeah. so, the so, person is in. So the the, the whole thing is um to be successful, mm -hmm. uh, you need to have something called social engineering skills. The way you know, I can stand here and hack someone not even open my computer through either smashing or vision. I can call you, pretend to be someone. Social engineering attack, right? So here, you try to start a conversation with the person, mm -hmm. know where the person is coming from. Then you try to create maybe a story and add a link. And that would help you for the person to click on. Your, your, your motive is the person should just click on the link mm -hmm. for it to be triggered. And your job is done. You get to know where the person is chatting you from. Now, lastly, Kalf, let's let's talk about this one too. It's very important. Um, I go online this morning and I search for Kafu Day. Why do I do that? I want to know who is saying something about Kafu Day or what Kafu Day stands for. Is he a genuine guy? You know, is it like so? That's it. You know, we're looking around Kafu Day today. Our point of study is around Kafu Day. So a, big, a big shout out to Kafu Day. Yeah, shout out to Kafu. Yeah, shout out. To <laughs> All right, so here you find him telling shout outs to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we say here yeah. Kafu Day this morning. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have some search about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are going through. So yourself, you can pin down your own name and look at what mm, the internet have about, about you. You know, some people are kind of some way. Maybe they don't like you. So they just go and write a blog about you. Don't know. Unless the person has tagged you before you get to know. Mm. I have people who do a lot of that about me. And I don't know unless they've tagged you. If they have not tagged you, you can't get them. Or unless a friend shared to you. Mm. So periodically, you can just Google your name like that. Mm -hmm. right? And you get to know whatever they are saying about you. Mm -hmm. Now, let's do a little advanced search here. Let's do a little Googling here. You know, we have normal Googling. That is what you do. We have advanced way. right? That's what we call Google Docking. Right? So we're doing a little bit of Google Docking this morning. Mm -hmm. Now, we are looking at, we are going to start from, let's say, social platforms. So we are saying that Kafui Day. Wherever on Instagram that Kafu Day ha name has come, mm -hmm. they should bring us those link. Okay. So we say in URL. Mm -hmm. So what do we say? In. I see there. Yes, in URL. Mm -hmm. Then we add Instagram. Okay. So we are telling Google that only search online. Wherever you see Kafu Day link attached to Instagram, Instagram, it should come. Okay. So we are limit. We we, we are specific mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So we go through. Ah, uh, okay, Kafu mm -hmm. Day Breakfast, mm -hmm. I know it's from GBC. Mm -hmm. I think you work in GBC, mm -hmm. so uh, we have them here a lot. So, uh. so these are all the Instagram references? Instagram references. Okay. I think you have that. Oh, Instagram references. Yeah. Okay, so we are done with the Instagram references. You can also go to Facebook. Okay. You can also go to Facebook. All right. Say Facebook. So this one, you are looking through on Facebook to see where the references are. Yes, please. Okay. So this is what we say, uh, advanced search. Yes. 
Right. So this is Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is it. So if assuming I want to have something about Kafu Day, maybe something he has done or a book, so I can say here, instead of I say you in URL, I can say Kafu Day file type PDF. So I want to have any PDF document about Kafu Day. Let's try it. Okay, so let's see this morning. File type. We say file type. Uh, file type. Let me okay. see that. PDF. I see it up there. Uh, I should have done the, I yeah. should bring the semicolon, but let me just do PDF. And let's put on a search. Okay. Sure. All right. So if they have it, uh, if they it have any PDF mm -hmm. about you, mm -hmm. yeah, you, 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 it will come up, right? Okay. All yeah. right. So Great. that is how we do Google searching or advanced Googling. Yeah, I know you've been doing where is GTV? Where is Kafu <laughs> Day? But you can take it to a different level. A different level. That is the advanced Googling. Before you go, we have like 30 seconds. What can you tell people for them to remember about this online uh, social media impersonation what are yeah. the tips how could they protect themselves yeah so so the best protective way is please try to search on your name mm -hmm. on all social platforms twitter facebook wherever just sometimes just go and search on your username maybe they had created an anonymous account mm -hmm. for you you just go and report them you take them down and know that these things are real if you have not been a victim it doesn't mean that uh, it can't get to you it's real mm -hmm. and also don't believe so much in people online right you've seen accounts throwing pictures about someone pretending to be someone please just do a little search today you've gone through so many tools platforms to help you as it turns to a fact that is that person or not then you'll be able to solve your own problem right dk cyber it's kd and dk yeah and we do our <laughs> social media and our internet and stuff Every Friday around this time, you can find him on CyberZone GH yeah, across, across all social job. media platforms. Any shouts before we go? Oh, it's always my church, Police Depot, SDA Church, yeah, and my youth. I really like them. One time. And yeah. they like you back. Yeah, all right. Sure. So that's our uh, online conversation here. You know how to protect yourself. This is GTV Breakfast. Thanks to DK Cyber for always giving us the education. I wonder where he gets all this information from. Man. Every time there's something new coming out, not only out of uh, Jerusalem or Bethlehem, but also out of...